Hello everyone, I am Tacit, and today I'm going to be going over the first new mythic that ended up coming in since version 4.0 of the Megavore. It is available in the Glory Gem Guild and VIP chest for this week only, and then it'll be in a drop table with everything else. So everything except the gold and event key, though do keep in mind you can still get Infernus from the event key, and you can also get Ferris Rot and the Soul Forge. So basically the best three mythics in the game pretty much are all available this week. So Megavore, yes, he is very, very, very very strong uh let's see if we go over here we got ourselves a unowned and there he is so gonna be trying to get two of them actually haven't tried getting two of a specific mythic for almost a year and a half now but we have so many keys piled up that i'm probably gonna do so i also need to do that indirectly to also get white helm and other kingdoms upgraded but he destroys all enemy armor so that's already pretty good if they have like 60 armor on each one that's what 240 tear and that's on top of the damage that he already has he has seven plus ma or eight plus magic uh damage as far as how much damage he'll do off his uh, ability itself which is essentially true damage since he's tearing all the armor and he also submerges itself after the fact it does automatically lose its turn but again it's getting so much value from it that uh it should be fine now there's one aspect that you can use him for the other aspect is his traits because his traits are quite amazing uh, he's a uh, blue uh red um brown as far as using it for that as well as for using it for delves uh, which is uh, possible to use it in both the two delves that currently exist and probably the next one as well the third one but it has huge so it keeps getting extra hp every single time it gets an extra turn and as impervious which is most noteworthy it has immune to stun and has immune to freeze and uh then this one comes in eight percent chance to kill the last enemy on four times and five times matches and it can't be frozen and it can't be stunned of course the other two troops on your team could be if you're using double megavore or something so have to be wary of that but for the most part that's going to be very 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 good probably very inconsistent though but that's the reason we're getting two uh two eight percent should be fine one eight percent probably isn't good enough to try doing an infinite loop team for i'm pretty sure that would be too slow but two of them should stack as in it'll be two individual eight percent chances and uh that should be a high enough rate that we should be able to kill them out uh, relatively easily. But let's go and uh, try getting them. We have a lot of gem keys to go open. We'll probably do it 50 at a time and then go over to glory keys and hopefully get it. No, not autumn imp, come on. Oh, we got a raft though. We've been needing more rafts. I think that's our third. I didn't bother opening event keys during that time. So if we can randomly get some more, that'd be very nice. Main thing we actually want to be getting indirectly other than the mythic itself would actually be uh, more white helm troops we need that so we can go get the white helm to 10 star 11 star and 12 star all three of them are technically available right now uh the only problem is we don't have enough copy wow that was a quick megavore well there we go megavore copy one completed but we're not done yet <laughs> we're going until we get two and uh well that actually was pretty quick i wasn't keeping track what was that 200 250 somewhere around there but we got ourselves first megavar as you can see 35 damage he's not even leveled yet that's what like 40 plus uh that's a pretty decent single target um so yeah that's pretty cool gets all the armor tier main thing i want to use him for is that final trait though so because of that reason i do want to get another one hopefully i won't regret this because uh yeah this could dwindle down our entire gem stack but Getting that one that early, if we got it after like a thousand, I would have considered, eh, maybe we had enough. Oh, Borealis got buffs, by the way. He has 65% score reduction. I think I went over that earlier, I did. But uh, he's actually somewhat relevant now, even though I haven't bothered doing a single team with him yet. But he's, uh, I'll probably start using him again once um, the new hero class comes out. We are getting a new hero class um, later this month, which is going to be bringing in, oh, good, another King Bloodhammer, though he got nerfed. Um, Doomstorm got nerfed. But they're bringing in a new uh, hero class later this month that's going to have mass freeze, which is actually going to be kind of counter to this current mythic that I'm getting now. But for the few weeks before it comes out, we won't have to deal with it. Okay, so it looks like the second one's going to take us a while, which is kind of to be expected. But if nothing else, I need all the drops that we're getting here too. And I'm not showing it, but we are getting a bunch of ingots too, which we need for various ingot-related upgrading. But it does look like we should have stopped at one because we might not reach it. Uh, we might have gotten the first one like near immediately and then take forever to not get the second. But, oh well, hey, we got another Divinish Bala. I don't know if she's actually maxed yet. I had her for so long and she's still not mythic because I refuse to use an orb on her. I got all these orbs to go and upgrade them all and I still haven't really bothered really doing it. But there we go, Megavore after, or two Megavores I should say, after 1,200 and so gem keys. So that's not too bad of a rate. Um, we got really lucky on the first one. Second one was more towards what you could expect as the average drop rate. But let's go and upgrade this guy and see what we can do with this thing. So, Megavore, where are you? Megavore, boom. Upgrade. Let's go use a big green orb because we have way too many big green orbs. Uh, that'll save us some souls. So, apparently we had an achievement to go do that as well. So, free 1,200 souls. Nice. 
Uh, oh, don't disenchant it. <laughs> That'd be a fail. Uh, anyways, let's go get the Def by Below and go use it real quick. I uh, will be doing a Teams video uh, later on and, of course, streaming it over the next few days. But uh, let's go just give it a quick test run and see what it could do. Double Megavore. Uh, I don't even know if it will stack. I assume it will. <laughs> I'll find out. Uh, but it should. Yeah, I don't know if we'll exactly find out literally right now. Oh, oops. I forgot to clear these. Uh, ooh, fire bomb's not a good idea. Let's go see what's under casual PvP. We'll just do whatever this one is. Uh, there we go. And we do want to make sure we don't do it against Freeze. This team would be very bad against Freeze. But other than that, it uh, should be able to work against everything. Nothing has a means to instant kill. The only real counter to it is, of course, them freezing one of the first two slots. Though you're 50% immune because both this and this has a mean to freeze. Both the Megavores. So we got that going for us. Uh, I'm also highly considering using this in the first uh, area of... Or not the first area, but in the uh, delve of... Um, what's it called? The delve of the... Um, oh, there's our instant kill. As you can see, they have 8% every single extra turn. We didn't even get this team started yet. But in the delve of... Um, why can I not say it? <laughs> the Hall of Guardians. Uh, because this exact team can be used in Hall of Guardians. So uh, I had a feeling that this would probably be our strategy going in for it. Uh, this is a, one of the more most inconsistent most consistent uh double loops that currently exist in the game so uh that's kind of why we're rolling with this so all we have to do is get this down money lender starts spamming and we should pretty much be good to go from there as long as this doesn't miss and it doesn't as you saw right there we got another uh eight percent instant kill and every single time we just keep extra turn spamming we have a eight percent chance to trigger twice per thing we actually don't ever bother casting these in this particular team setup uh there are teams obviously that would use him for casting but uh, this particular composition does not ever cast them. Uh, but as you can see, 8% triggered two times on both of them. And we just basically keep looping this. And at, actually, at this point, we can just go and single target it twice. I guess for the last one, we actually don't need to bother um, doing the extra turn there. And whoa, 53 damage. Is that your base damage? Hey, we got a pet too from someone in the guild. Uh, there is a, a treasure gnome event currently going on. But is that his base damage? Well, apparently it is when you get it maxed. Wow, that's a way higher than I thought it would be. 20 or 53, wow. That is high. <laughs> that is way higher. That is way, way higher than I was expecting it to be. Does he get double value for magic or something? Why does that seem so high? I need to go double check that later. That that seems very, very, very high. But uh, I don't mind. That's uh, it's almost one shot on some things. Okay, maybe not. Okay, yeah, right there. It can one shot his Megavore. <laughs> or Megavore can one shot his Megavore. Wait, how does he have the same damage as us? Okay, now I'm confused. Okay, I'll figure that out later. Uh, no, he has the same magic as us. That's why he has the same damage. Wow, his damage is just that high, apparently. <laughs> That's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, that is Megavor uh, key opening. We'll be going over some teams and such later. Obviously, this is the main team I assume I'll be using with it. Um, this doesn't necessarily use it when one copy. You can't really get away with this when one copy. But going with double copy, this is probably one of the better teams in the game, at least until the new Freeze hero class comes into the game. Uh, that hero class is going to counter this hard because Alchemist and Moneylender do not want to be frozen whatsoever. And basically any team that ever runs this Freeze will hard counter this. But other than that, there really isn't much of a counter since no player-owned troop owns protection against instant kill. And to my understanding, nothing in Delves has instant kill immunity too. Though, of course, you still have to scout out to see if there's any freeze. Because if there's freeze, well, you can't use this against it. But, yeah, uh, definitely really, really solid for Hall of Guardians um, as far as delving there. And that's my main game plan for it. If you guys still have any other questions or anything else you want me to go over, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. Best of luck with the Treasure Normal event. And, of course, best of luck trying to find the Megavore and other good stuff in Keys. Uh, and just one reminder again, it's only in Glory, Gem Guild, and VIP Chess. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye!